people think that Islam spread by, by the sword, this is the sword of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the sword of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The beloved sallallahu alayhi wa sallam raised his hand and placed his hand on his chest. This is how Islam spread. Huh? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam placed his hand on his chest. Now what does Fudala say? Fudala says, by Allah. Now this is narrated by Fudala himself. He says, by Allah. Before the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam placed his hand on my chest, the person I hated the most was none other than Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I hated no one more than my hatred towards Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But the moment Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam placed his hand on my chest, he said, before the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam moved his hand from my chest, by Allah, there was no one more beloved to me than the beloved of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I fell in love with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is how Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam changed and transformed people's lives. Fudala used to go and he, there used to be a girl that used to talk to Fudala. On the streets there used to be a girl that used to call Fudala. And that day when Fudala returned from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, after giving his heart to the beloved sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the same girl called for the Fudala and Fudala said no, not anymore. I cannot talk to you anymore. Why? Because I have sold my, my heart. I have sold my heart to the beloved of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I have given my heart to Rasulullah. Now I belong to the beloved of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now this was the adab, the akhlaq of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The beautiful character of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is how Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam treated non-Muslims. His enemies, people who came to take the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Did Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kill him? Did Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tell his companions that he came to murder me? He came to murder the sole purpose of creation? He came to murder لَوْلَا كَلَمَا خَلَبْتُ الدُّنْيَا Oh beloved, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have created the universe. The entire universe was created for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say that Oh companions, kill this person who came to kill, who came to take the life of the one for whom the entire universe was created? No. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made Fudala fall in love with him. And that's not just what one, a lot of people say this. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was merciful, but his mercy was for all, only for Muslims. No. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ the beloved of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a mercy for all humanity and not only all humanity for every creation of Allah jalla wa ala. and this is why I say a lot of people when they uh, propagate the message of Islam or the, the whole gatherings they say mercy for mankind we shouldn't say that mercy for mankind he's not a mercy for mankind only he's not a mercy for humanity only Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a mercy وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ الْعَالَمِينَ For the entire universe, for animals, for insects, for birds, for women, for children, for every creation of Allah Jalla wa Ala, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam is a mercy. So do not say He's only a mercy for mankind. And if you promote your event, do not say mercy for humankind, mercy for mankind, mercy for the universe, mercy for all the worlds. For every creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Muslims, non-Muslims. When the beloved sallallahu alayhi wa went to Taif, do you remember the waqiyah of Taif? We all know the waqiyah of Taif. Again, it's important that we inform people about these incidents, these waqiyah that took place in the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa How he reacted with non-Muslims, with his enemies, those people who were there to take his life. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa went to Taif to convey the message of Islam, to convey the message of peace to convey the message of mahabba to teach people how to how to live like civilized humans that was the message of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and how did they treat the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they rejected they did not accept anything they debased the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they humiliated rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam they made people apply derogatory comments against rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the leaders of Taif, what did they do? They got young people, children, boys and girls to stone the Prophet ﷺ. Who was with Rasulullah ﷺ? One slave that the Prophet ﷺ had freed, Zayd bin Harith ﷺ. A child was with Rasulullah ﷺ. And the beloved ﷺ was stoned. Stoned by who? Children. 
the girls, boys, and then the women, and then the slaves, and then behind them were the leaders of Taif, laughing at the Prophet وسلم, in the streets of Taif. And how were they stoning Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam? They were throwing rocks at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, stones at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And this was the time when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, blood was coming out of, out of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam's body. First, Rasulullah sallallahhu alayhi wasallam's feet, they were full of blood. Then the legs were full of blood. And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam couldn't stand. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam had to sit down. And then they started to throw stones at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam's thighs. And according to one narration, Blood was coming out of the thighs of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. The beloved sallallahu alayhi wasallam couldn't move. And then, and then, Subhanallah, Sayyidina Jibreel Yameen comes. The angel of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, a lot of us when we convey the message of Islam, and if people react in a negative way and say that we're not going to accept your Islam, you will not accept your message of Islam. And sometimes we are demotivated. People distance us. People say, no, we will not accept your message. And we get demotivated. We think that no, we've made the sacrifices, we've done so much for Islam. What have we done? This is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the beloved of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And he went with the message of what? Message of peace. He didn't want anything for himself. He wanted to save these people from burying their daughters alive. He wanted them to become humans. He told them the message of peace. That was the message of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Just imagine, imagine if someone treats us like this. Imagine if, say that, you know, in this day and age, if someone, if someone was to oppress you and you could take revenge and then you don't take revenge, someone oppresses you, someone does some sort of zulm on you and then you can't take revenge and if you don't take revenge, what do people say about you? Say someone oppresses me and then he comes here and I've got so many friends here who can take revenge and they say we will take revenge for you. This person oppressed you and if I say I have forgiven him, even though I can take revenge if I could. But if I say, I have forgiven you, what will you say about me? People say he's a noble man, he's a pious man, he's a good person, he has beautiful character. He could take revenge, but he didn't take revenge. He could have taken revenge, but he didn't take revenge, he's a good person.